I currently work as a drama therapist in the NHS. I am a joint lead of an arts therapies team, so I work for Central North West London Mental Health Trust. Um, so I support a team of about 16 arts therapists um, who work in Kensington, Chelsea and Westminster. I've also been the vice chair of the British Association of Drama Therapists, so that has meant that I have taken a very different role in working with policy and government, um, looking at where drama therapists sit within the overall um, NHS and private sector. That role enabled me to really consolidate the skills that I already had, that I knew that I was a relatively good communicator and that I was really passionate about hearing people's voices. Now I've been able to really advocate for 700 voices through the work. I've also learned so much more about leadership, about um, running organisations, how to uh, approach huge obstacles that might appear like completely impenetrable but actually that you use the people around you. I have um, been able to really um, take, take many different opportunities and bring them together. So finding out about one thing and then linking it to another and thinking actually this can be a really in interesting piece of work um, and I can see the new opportunity in this. I never thought that I would be sitting in Parliament talking about drama therapy to MPs and ministers and when I started as a drama therapist I, was an, I started as an activities coordinator on a ward running bingo groups um, so my 15 years career has really changed and, and moved me in many different directions. I think using your passion and being able to transpose that into different areas of, of higher leadership working is really important. As a creative arts therapist, actually we need to think creatively as a wider profession, as many different professions. So I can bring in those transferable skills into thinking about research, thinking about leadership, thinking about resource management. How can we creatively work with those things? So other allied health professionals can think about what brings them to their job. What is it that makes them really excited about their work? Think about that as a transferable skill that then can be put into many, many different aspects and areas. Whether that's being able to lead a large project or whether or not that's thinking about a piece of research. It's really important to me that I'm still working as a clinician and as a drama therapist. As our trust is in Kensington and Chelsea, we have um, been offering work to the people of the Grenfell community. The arts therapies department there is offering something slightly different where there are uh, the opportunity to do a lot of talking therapies. Actually talking isn't always going to be an easy thing to do around that situation so I can go in as a drama therapist and offer a more creative, um, expressive place for them to, to explore and express what's going on for them. It's such an honour to be able to find a different way to help people express what's going on for them and means that I can keep advocating for them in higher profile strategic meetings. I think it's really common for that imposter syndrome to hit AHPs, that we might not feel that our profession is big enough or known enough, that means that we are, our voice is important. But actually, we have expertise, we have knowledge about something very specific that other people don't have. Follow your passion, take risks and be prepared to put yourself into positions where you might feel a little bit uncomfortable. Don't be afraid to let everybody know what you do and why you do it.